Good morning everyone. I've gotten a request to read a book about trucks. So today we're going to read the book Big Truck and Little Truck. Big Truck and Little Truck by Jan Carr. Big Truck and Little Truck worked on Farley's farm. Big Truck taught Little Truck everything he knew. He taught him how to carry crops. He taught him how to cart equipment. He even taught him how to help Big Fred Farley and Little Fred Farley stake scarecrows in the field. Which truck is Big Truck? Which truck is Little Truck? One day, Little Truck got stuck in the mud. He revved his engine and spun his wheels, frantic to get out. Easy, Big Truck told him. Go easy. Little Truck did exactly as Big Truck said. He rocked his wheels back and forth. Soon, he was out of the mud. Good job, Big Truck congratulated him. Who got stuck in the mud? The next day was market day. Little Truck had never gone to market before. Big Fred and Little Fred loaded heavy crates onto Big Truck and Little Truck. The crates were filled with fruits and vegetables to bring to the city. Where are they going? On the highway, Little Truck saw all sorts of traffic. He saw big tank trucks. He saw car transporters. He saw bossy buses. He saw snooty semis. Honk, honk. When Big Truck sounded his horn, the other trucks moved out of the way. Honk, honk. Little Truck honked his horn, too. Keep your lights on the road, Little Truck, Big Truck reminded him. All that summer, Big Truck and Little Truck hauled peaches and watermelons, snap peas and corn. When autumn came, they hauled pumpkins and parsnips and bushel baskets brimming with Brussels sprouts. One afternoon, Big Fred Farley climbed aboard Big Truck. Tree down in the North 40, he said, need a big truck to do a big job. He and Big Truck drove off alone. Little Truck tried to be brave. Who is Big Fred taking to do a big job? Big Truck. Big Truck will only be gone a few hours, he tried to reassure himself. But those hours seemed to stretch on and on, as long as the afternoon shadows.
That night, when Big Truck came back, his engine made a raspy, spit and sputter sound. Hmm, said Big Fred Farley. Maybe I worked the truck too hard. Could be the carburetor, said Little Fred. Maybe it's the distributor, said Big Fred. What happened? The next morning, Big Truck's engine wouldn't start at all. Fred Farley clamped a set of cables to Little Truck's engine and fastened the other end to Big Truck. Electricity jumped through the cables. Still, Big Truck's engine was quiet. Guess I'll have to call the tow, said Big Fred Farley. The tow? Little Truck didn't want Big Truck to go away again. I'll be back soon, Big Truck assured him. Just remember the things I taught you. When the tow arrived, a man jumped out and hitched a hook under Big Truck's fender. Little Truck tried not to cry, but tears welled under his wipers. There, there, sonny, said the tow truck. Don't go rusting out your lights. We'll have your pot back in no time. Little Truck watched as Big Truck rolled helplessly down the muddy, leaf-strewn road. Truck didn't have time to stand around feeling glum. Little Fred Farley was already loading him up. Today is market day, said Little Fred. With Big Truck gone, you'll have to haul twice the load. Market? Little Truck had never gone to the city by himself before. Big Truck had always been there to tell him what to do. The day was drizzly and the traffic on the road to the city was heavy. Big bullying trucks barreled down the highway, thundering in and out of the lanes. They cut right in front of Little Truck. Honk honk, cried Little Truck, but the other trucks paid no attention. Little Truck tried to remember what Big Truck had taught him. Keep your lights on the road, he chanted, keep your lights on the road. Where are they going? When they got to the market, Little Fred hopped up onto Little Truck's tailgate. Little Truck groaned under the weight. He'd carried such a heavy load. Little Truck hardly noticed the colorful stream of city folk who came to pick over the pumpkins and paw through the potatoes. The market didn't seem like much fun without Big Truck along. That afternoon, the road home turned dark. An icy rain began to fall. Little Truck skidded off the road and slid into a ditch. He gunned his engine and spun his wheels, sinking deeper into the mud. Then Little Truck remembered what Big Truck had taught him. Easy, go easy, he repeated to himself. He rocked his wheels slowly and rolled himself out of the ditch. He climbed wearily back onto the road. Little Truck felt tired, so tired. He could hardly keep his lights focused. He wanted to tell Big Truck everything that had happened. 
He hoped that big truck would be waiting for him when he got back to the farm. But when he got home, the drive was still empty. Little Fred Farley hopped out of the cab. He hosed down Little Truck and wiped him with a soft cloth. Good job you did today, he said. He gave Little Truck a pat on the hood. But Little Truck wanted Big Truck to know he had done a good job. He stared down the road that led to the farm. When would Big Truck come home? The next day, Little Truck worked in the fields from dawn till dusk. The day after that, he carried in the cabbage patch. On the way back to the barn, Little Fred Farley pulled over to talk to Big Fred. Any word on the truck? asked Little Fred. Another day at the shop, Big Fred answered. Little Truck's engine raced excitedly. One more day, only one more day. Early the next morning, as the friendly face of the sun smiled down from the sky, Big Truck rumbled up the road. His engine sounded strong and sturdy. He even had a bright new paint job. Little Truck had so much to tell, the words all spilled out quickly. Big Truck, he cried. I missed you so much, but I rode to the market all by myself. On the way back, I fell into a ditch, and I had to rock my wheels to get out. I knew you could do it, Big Truck said proudly. Still, there was no time for the trucks to idle and chat, not on Farley's farm. Little Fred and Big Fred were already loading them up. Big Truck and Little Truck rode off to work, bumping and bouncing over the furrows in the fields. Big Truck was gleaming and Little Truck was beaming as their engines hummed happily together. The End